Hello everyone, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a collective reading, taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, let's see your person's current feelings for you collective. Here we go. Spirit angels and guys, please show me what are this person's current feelings for the collective, please? Whoever it is that the collective is connecting to and dealing with in love, what are this person's current feelings for the collective? All right. So first card we have is the Queen of Pentacles. This person might feel like you're very focused on your work, your career, your finances, yourself. Just overall focused on yourself. They might feel like you're busy. You don't have a lot of time for them. What are this person's current feelings for the collective? Tell me more, Spirit. The Fool. Yeah, I feel like this person wants to have some sort of new beginning with you or they want to take action in your direction. Um, they want to come together with you. They want to spend time with you. But there's an energy of this person feeling like you're too busy or like you're too focused on yourself. And you're just, you're not separating any time for them or you're not separating a lot of time for them. But they really want to jump into something with you with the full card. They want to jump into a connection with you. Tell me more, Spare, what are this person's current feelings for the collective? All right, we have here the, what is this? Uh, nine of cups in the reverse. Uh-oh. That's not good. Yeah. This is the nine of cups in the reverse. Mm. Well, nine of cups in the reverse represents emotional codependency. So this person's emotionally codependent off of you, which basically means that they want to be with you all the time and they feel like the only way they can be happy or feel good is is when you're giving them attention and if you're not giving them attention attention um, it makes them feel miserable and lonely and you know rejected and sad their happiness depends on you and on the on the attention that you give them hmm. All right, let's look at this person's um, intentions with you. Let's take a deeper look at um, what are their true intentions. Here we go. You might be dealing with an Aries. We also have Pisces here. All right, spirit angels and guys, what are this person's true intentions with the collective, please? This fool person showing up in the reading. What are this person's true intentions with the collective? All right, so in their intentions, we do have the strength card. I feel like this person's like holding on to you really tightly. It's almost like they're holding on to the to what they want with you, to what they want to manif manifest with you or create with you. They're very determined to get their way with you. They're very determined to achieve what they want with you. Okay, well, I don't know what that is, though. I am getting a little bit of a, a possessive energy coming from this person. Possessive. They're very possessive over you. Okay. Okay. Tell me more, Spirit. What are this person's true intentions with the collective? Oh, okay. We have here the 
Two of Pentacles. I don't know why I felt like this was the Two of Cups. I mean, if you look at the picture, it almost kind of reminds me of the Two of Cups. Um, but it says the Two of Pentacles. I feel like this person wants you to choose them. I'm get. I, I just heard in my in my head in my mind. I just heard choose me, choose me. This person wants you to choose them. They might. This person might think that you're in between two options, and these options, these two options, don't necessarily have to be people. You know. It could be something else, but there's something about them feeling like you're in between two options. Or there's two things that are taking up your attention. And this person wants you to choose them. In other words, they want you to give them your soul attention like your full attention and your full energy your full investment they don't want you to be back and forth between two whatever whatever this two is you know whether it's two people or maybe it's between your work and them because we do have the queen of pentacles here male or female doesn't matter the gender your work or your studies or um, your hobbies or your career, your business, whatever it might be. Whatever else is taking up your attention, this person wants you to choose them. Okay. Huh. Okay, I'm still not really clear what their intentions are with you, but let's keep going. Tell me more, Spirit, what are this person's true intentions with the collective, please? What are this person's true intentions Ooh, with the collective, this one? Okay. We have, oh, Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles is showing up here, so they definitely want a new beginning with you. Ace of Pentacles can also represent a second chance. Someone wanting, someone wanting you to give them a second chance or someone wanting to have a new beginning with you. Now, pentacles, um, pentacles represent a stable relationship. So they are wanting to solidify a stable relationship with you. Yeah, I keep getting possessive energy. Definitely getting possessive energy. It's like this person wants you to belong to them and only them. And they want all, all your attention and energy to be on them. Hmm. Like I said, with the strength card, this person is very determined to... Um, achieve their objective with you. Getting your full attention. I think I want to clarify this strength card. Let's do a little bit of, a little bit of clarification now. Let's see, I'm going to use a different deck. All right. Spirit, what can you tell me about the strength card? Some of you are dealing with a Leo. We also have here Capricorn energy. We also have Taurus and Virgo. All right. Spirit, clarify the strength card, please. And this person's true intentions with the collective. All right. So we have here the Page of Wands. Yeah, they want to talk with you. They want to talk with you. They want to communicate communicate with you. They want to exchange messages with you. Huh. 
but they feel like you don't have time to talk to them. This person's confusing me. Tell me more about the strength card. <clears throat> The Page of Cups, yep, there it is. Page of Wands and the Page of Cups. Yeah, they definitely want some sort of reunion between the two of you. They want you and them to come together, to reunite, to meet up, to, to be with each other and spend time with each other and um, have constant communication with each other. Or it's like, or this, this, this could just be the energy of they just want you to talk to them. They want you to talk to them and they want to form um, a, a connection with you, a, a physical connection with you and also an, an emotional connection with you. <sighs> Let me look at this fool energy. Spirit, tell me about the fool. Clarify the fool um, and their current feelings. More pages. Page of Pentacles showing up here. Page of Pentacles. Okay, well, that's, that's the same message. I'm getting the same thing. Like, they want you to interact with them, spend time with them, give them attention. Um... It's like they want they want to build a, a relationship with you, and they want you to have the time to to do that with them. Okay. Let me look at you collective now, and let's see what's going on in your energy. Here we go. Spirit angels and guides, please show me the energy of the collective towards this person. What's the collective's current energy towards this person that's showing up in the reading here? What is this? Okay, we have a couple of cards here. We have the Emperor that showed up. We also have here the High Priestess. Okay, and we also have, interesting, the Ace of Cups. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Devil here. The Devil with the Four of Cups and also the sun showing up. Oh, okay. Alrighty, hold on. Things got deeper here. Things got much deeper. This is your energy towards them, Emperor High Priestess. So you are being quiet here. Okay, okay. There's a lack of trust here, that's for sure. Emperor and the High Priestess. So I do feel like you are being very, very quiet or you're, you're being very short with your words. You're being very short with your words or you're being very selective with your words. Um, you're definitely not expressing any emotion or communicating any emotion here with them. You're... You're intentionally holding back here with the devil card. And it feels like it's because you don't trust them. You feel like this person doesn't have any good intentions with you at all. And you feel like time will expose that truth. with the sun card, you feel like time will eventually expose what this person's true intentions are with you. Hmm. 
I don't like this energy. This energy is pretty um, dark here. Four of Cups and the Ace of Cups. It does look like you suffered some sort of heartbreak or disappointment from this person. We do have Ace of Cups and the Four of Cups. So it does look like this person hurt you at some point. You felt let down by them. You felt um, betrayed by them. And with the High Priestess, it's almost like um, you're quietly you're quiet, quietly waiting for this person to make a mistake. To, to like expose themselves, to expose, to expose the truth with the devil and the, and the sun card. What are you doing? Hold on, let me clarify. Let me just clarify and see what, what exactly are you doing. Tell me about the emperor to the high priestess in the collective's energy spirit. Tell me about the, oh, the world card. You know, the world card just, I don't know if you saw it in the camera. The world card just flipped from upright to reverse, world in reverse. There's some sort of open karmic cycle between the two of you. Some sort of unfinished business. You know, collective, it kind of looks like you're playing with fire a little bit, you know, which is never a good idea to play with fire. I'm not sure how you're playing with fire, but it feels like you're playing with fire. It just feels like you're engaging. Yeah, it feels like you're engaging with this person. Even even through your silence, you know? The high priestess represents silence, but you know, you, you can engage with someone um, through no communication. You know, that that's still a way to interact with, with a person. You're still on an energetic level interacting with them. Even if you're not spending time with them, even if you're not physically, you know, connecting with them. Even if you're not communicating with them, um, it's like in, in, in some way you're still engaging with them, like on an ener energetic level or on a telepathic level, you're still engaging with them, you're still connecting with them. It's almost like that door is not fully closed with the world in reverse. that door between the two of you is not fully closed. But I don't know why, why is it not fully closed though, is my question. So I wanna clarify the devil here and the sun card. You know, both of these cards are very fiery energy. The sun is fiery and this devil energy is fiery. So that's why I was saying, I feel like you might be playing with fire by giving this person your attention. Because the thing is that this person thinks that you're not giving them any attention at all, except that that's not true from what I can see here. That's not true. They think you're not giving them attention, but you are. In reality, you are, you are definitely giving them a whole lot of attention. They just don't know about it. They just don't know about it. But it does seem to be like affecting you, you know? That's why I'm saying with the Four of Cups, this feels like, you know what this feels like? It feels like you're reliving something bad over and over again because you're not getting out of that energy you're not getting out of that negative energy or 
or out of that low vibrational energy. So it's, it's like you're constantly re reliving a really bad experience or a really traumatic experience over and over again. Kind of like when you live in, a, in the same house where some sort of you know, tragic experience happened for you. And it's like, even though the house is empty, it's like it still reminds you of, of a bad experience that happened inside the house, you know? Because you're not, you're not getting out of the house. It's like you're, you're being haunted. You're being haunted because you're, you're remaining in the same place or you're, you're keeping the connection alive in some way, if that makes sense. Okay, tell me about the devil to the sun spirit. All right, so we have here the Ten of Pentacles, okay. The Ten of Pentacles. Why, why is the Ten of Pentacles here? With the Devil and the Sun Spirit. The Nine of Cups. Mm -hmm. And also the Five of Swords. Okay, I see. I'll look at look at, at the bottom of the deck. We have the Three of Swords here with the Ten of Wands as well at the bottom of the deck. Okay, I see. Yeah, it's like you need to stop playing games with this person. I don't know what that means, collective, but we do have the Five of Swords here. Um, connected to you um, stop playing games with this person or like stop playing along with this person or stop entertaining this person's games with you or stop giving attention to this person's games with you I'm getting like a little bit of a vindictive energy connected to you collective also. There's some sort of desire to get even. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. It's like there's some sort of hidden deep secret desire to get even with this person, except that it's hurting you, you know, it's just, it's, it's causing you more grief than, than you should be experiencing. With the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, um, you know, I feel like this is what you wanted with this person, is the impression I'm getting. I feel like you wanted a, um, a long-term commitment with the Ten of Pentacles. It's interesting because we have the nine of cups here upright and they showed up with the they showed up with the nine of cups in reverse at the beginning of the reading. So it kind of looks like you also were emotionally codependent off of this person at some point. Um but I don't think you are now because I feel I you have the nine of cups here with the ten of pentacles. So I, I don't feel like you're you're any longer emotionally dependent off of them. This feels like a toxic relationship, by the way, because with the devil and the sun, this is like a very, this feels very toxic and it feels very on and off, a very on and off, toxic, unstable relationship that went on for too long. It's the vibe I'm getting here. And, and, I, and I'm getting like also the vibe of like games being played back and forth kind of like a tip for tat type of energy type of game so it just kind of looks like it's up to you 
to, to break the, the repetitive cycle between the two of you by choosing to become emotionally independent and um, you know, seeking what you want elsewhere. You know, you want um, a stable relationship, a stable commitment. You can still have that, um, but it's not going to be with this person. It's going to be elsewhere. So don't try to get even with this person um, because it's going to keep you stuck in a cycle with them, you know. Don't um, don't try to like make a statement also because I feel like you're trying to make a statement although I don't know what that is but it feels like you're making a statement or you're trying to prove prove them something but you know don't do any of that just kind of do a clean break that's what it feels like it's advising you to do like um, but I am gonna get some advice just to see. Um, with the cards, but I feel like it's advising you to like have a clean break with this person because their their low vibration is very influential. Like it, it, the more you continue connecting with them, the more their toxic low vibrational energy is going to transfer over to you. And then you're going to start doing things that are not that are not like you, that are out of your character. And that's what you want to avoid. You want to avoid turning, turning into this person, you know? So avoid getting, avoid getting even with this person because then you're going to be um, an open channel for their, for their toxicity because you're going to be meeting them at, at their level, you know? So it's kind of like a dangerous, it's a dangerous thing to do to continue to continue interacting with someone of this type of energy. So even if even though it hurts you cuz it does look like you're carrying a lot of pain here and like resentment, I almost feel like I almost feel like you're carrying resentment here. I would say trust, you know, trust that Everything happens for a reason. It's not like this person is going to, you know, do better than you, is what I'm getting. But the, the, I feel like the, the thing is that it doesn't matter what happens with this person's life, you know? I feel like that might be the the point here, like it doesn't matter what, com what, what becomes of their life, it's not your problem anymore, basically. It's not something that you need to care about or put any attention towards, you know, or give any of your attention. Like, it's not your problem anymore, you know? It's like, wish them the best, you know? Wish them the best and move and move on with your life. That type of energy is what I'm getting here. Yeah, okay. Let's take a look at some advice here for you. Spirit, what's the advice for the collective, please? Uh, the world. The world is your advice. Okay. That's interesting because we do have the world here that showed up, but it showed up in the reverse. Um, yeah, I feel like the advice is to close out this cycle. You know? Like, fully close out this cycle. There's nothing here. There's nothing here that benefits you anymore or that or that can benefit you, or that will bring any value to your life. Um, 
There's nothing here that's good for you. So I feel like the advice with the world is to just, you know, um, close the door and fully walk into a new into a new chapter in your life. A new chapter. Anything else about the world <clears throat> in regards to the advice spirit? Yeah, kind of like let karma do its thing, if that makes sense to you. I'm getting I'm getting something about let let karma do its thing. Don't worry about it. What is this? Seven of Wands. Yeah, Seven of Wands. Um, block. Block this person. Just completely block them. Create strong... Put up strong boundaries. Create strong... Create and put up strong boundaries. Tell me more about the advice here. And we also have the magician. That's nice. Okay. With the magician, it's like an energy of, you know, stepping into your power. Embrace your... Embrace your freedom, embrace your independence, and embrace your ability to manifest new things in your life and new new opportunities in your life. Become a magnet for new opportunities. Okay. All right, collective. So that's what I have for you. I hope this reading um, helped you in some, way, in some way. I hope it made sense to you. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.